In this section, we'll be talking all about reading data from Neo4j. We'll specifically talk about matching nodes, relationships, and finding paths from one node to another. In this first video on matching, we'll go over the Neo4j reference card. We'll use the match command to match a single node. We'll use the match command to find multiple nodes. And I'll show you how to filter your matches. The Neo4j Cyber Ref card is available on the neo4j.com website. This is a handy cheat sheet on all the commands available within Neo4j. It helps me remember the syntax for aggregations, the, quer the syntax for queries, uh, the syntax for filtering, finding all the merge information. Uh, it's a great tool. First, we'll be looking at the match command. Match, you can think of like select from a traditional relational database in SQL. The match command follows a syntax of the keyword match, followed by parentheses, signifying that you want to find a node. You can optionally assign a variable to that node. In this case, it would be x. Followed by a colon and then any labels you want to match on. For instance, in our data, we'll be looking for actor and movie nodes. You can use a keyword where optionally to specify a property of that node to filter on using common functions such as less than, greater than, equal to, etc. This is similar to traditional SQL in a relational database where you would select fields from a table and specify operators on properties. For performance reasons, Using this format of Cypher is better, where instead of using the WHERE clause, you can specify property values if you're looking for it in equals. This alternate format of using the MATCH command is useful when you're specifying equality in properties. If you're looking for, for instance, a unique identifier, you could use the, the phrase MATCH in parentheses, the label, and in the brackets you can specify a property and a value, for instance id colon 1. Some examples we can use in our data set. We can run match and in parentheses m for a variable, colon movie as the label, and we're going to return m. The return is important in this example because we're using the built-in browser and you would also use this within any code, so you'd have a result set that you could access the nodes via the m variable. I'll show you how this one runs. In the Neo4j browser, we would run match m for movies, and we will return the movies to the interface. And here you can see we found all of our movies. We'd follow the same format for actors. If we wanted to match a movie on the ID field of 1, we'd follow the second line, match, left parenthesis, m, colon, movie, with a bracket, id, colon, 1, right bracket, right parenthesis, returning m. In this case, we found the Fast Five movie. We can also use the WHERE clause in a match statement and perform some comparisons on a field such as release date. If we wanted to find all movies released before the year 2000, we could run this last cipher statement. In this case, these two movies were returned. 